The festive season is well in our midst and Cape Town Tourism has launched the domestic tourism campaign aimed at boosting domestic travel. Joining us now is James Force, the MMC for the Committee for the Economic Opportunities and Asset Management at the City of Cape Town. Mr. Force, a very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Full View. Thank you. Good evening. You say you are amplifying the campaign this year with new offers and partnerships. Take us through some of these offers. Well, the anticipated decline in international tourism will contribute from the city side more being invested into products and packages that cater to the domestic market. Our focus now turns to our local and regional markets. I've always said that our domestic market is the main pillar of support for our tourism industry. Local travelers make up the bulk of visitors to Cape Town and a recent survey from our official destination marketing organization, Cape Town Tourism, shows that there is massive appetite for travel to the mother city. So our place marketing and destination offerings will showcase what Cape Town has to offer, especially for locals, making affordability and accessibility our priorities without breaking the bank. And so therefore we have partnered with businesses and tourism operators to come up with promotions, for example, discounts on flights and accommodation, as well as an incredible variety of experiences which shines the spotlight on cuisine, culture and adventure. Well, Cape Town City has traditionally been known as one of those cities, I mean, the destination of choice uh, for most local and domestic travellers. But what is it that we'll be doing differently this year? I mean, taking in, into consideration that, uh, you know, so many people have been hard hit by the effects of COVID-19 and things are a bit, uh, you know, expensive in Cape Town. Well, with this campaign, we aim to inspire South Africans and locals to get out and about in Cape Town no matter how much or little you have to spend. So these great deals and packages can be uh, accessed on Cape Town Travel website. And as I've said, we've partnered with various tourism operators that will now put the spotlight on affordability and also uh, accessibility. We want to make sure that locals can also experience their city and especially South Africans. Now we know that there's an economic crunch that many of our South Africans are feeling at the moment. And so the affordability will be very important so that we can make all of our tourism businesses benefit from the bookings. So from marketing, there will be a conversion into the bookings space so that we can also support our tourism businesses during these difficult times. For example, 50 things to do for under 50 Rand and it covers all of the different experiences throughout the entire city, from culture to cuisine. And this is what's going to make it different from previous campaigns. It's about making sure that we connect with communities and also to shine the spotlight on those um, hidden gems throughout the entire city. And considering that uh, in the past, international tourists have, uh, uh, you know, traditionally formed the bulk of the revenue that's been generated by the city of Cape Town. Now that South Africa has been red listed by some of these European countries, so most of these tourists cannot come to South Africa as a result of the discovery of the Omicron variant. Uh, what is it that, you, that you'll be doing in order to cover that gap? Yeah, so we'll, we'll certainly be working with the tourism operators uh, to see how we can drive more supply and demand for small, medium and larger businesses that are now most affected. And so we will also be uh, working with our neighborhood tourism development partners because we see this as an opportunity to also diversify our tourism landscape so that we can reimagine tourism and reconnect with our communities uh, through job creation, and through economic uh, value, uh, that we see this as a, as a great opportunity to support those small businesses in our communities, whilst at the same time uh, driving bookings on flights and accommodation that can really boost businesses during these trying times. And so we are committed to work together to ensure that visitors and locals visiting our neighborhoods and attractions are safe and also working uh, in all corners of the city. We are obviously very proud of the so-called Big Six in Cape Town, which covers your bigger attractions, for example, Greenpoint, Groot Constantia, Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens, 
Robben Island, the v Waterfront and Table Mountain Aerial Cableway. But for this campaign, we will also be focusing on all of those neighborhood businesses that will showcase each and every business in our communities that are part of the Cape Town Tourism Network so that we can support those businesses by the conversion, which is actual bookings, uh, because it's those actual bookings that will benefit business. Um, so it's about reimagining tourism and reconnecting with our communities and using tourism and the hospitality space uh, as a way now to drive new supply and demand into the local market. And as I've said, it's, they've always been a pillar of strength to our tourism and hospitality industry. And of course, it is a bitter pill to swallow that we have now these international travel restrictions imposed on us. Um, and we are working closely with our embassies and our tourism operators in our key source markets so that we can uh, continue positioning Cape Town as a destination of choice in all of those markets. And so when those travel bans are reversed, immediately we can get back those forward bookings because it's those forward bookings that uh, businesses rely on because as soon as there's uncertainty and disruptive measures, it really uh, has a ripple effect throughout the entire value chain. So on the domestic front, we'll be pushing accessibility and affordability. And on the international, we'll make sure that Cape Town remains a destination of choice um, so that when people search for fun things to do or, th or, or different experiences from okay. cuisine to adventure, Cape Town will feature right at the top of that list. So from marketing to conversion, those are the two important priorities for us in Cape Town. All right, Mr. James Force, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. That is, uh, uh, well, Mr. James Force, he is the MMC for Economic Opportunities and Asset Management Department at the City of Cape Town. And he's been sharing with us uh, the city's newly launched uh, domestic tourism campaign under the banner uh, Friendly Pocket uh, Travel.